Welcome to another edition of the News Review. In this edition, a human rights organization has denounced Facebook for shutting down Press TV's page, calling on the social media platform to reverse its decision. Skyline International for Human Rights said the move is in violation of the corporate human rights policies recently announced by Facebook. The group said the social media giant is assessing content based on political standards. Skyline International said Facebook has adopted the policies of the countries in which it has regional or main offices. It called on Facebook to abide by international freedom of opinion, expression and publication rules for companies. Facebook shut down Press TV's account on Friday, accusing the Iranian news channel of failing to follow its community standards. Facebook has said that the move cannot be reversed. Now to discuss that further, we're joined by Mr. Daniel F. Riviera, Ph.D. and the director of Skyline Foundation from Miami, and also Mustafa Khoshchesh, journalist and political commentator, joining us live from Tehran. Let's begin with Mr. Riviera. If you could please shed more light on the different aspects of this type of shutdown. And let's not forget that this time the, the account, the Facebook account, has been completely shut down. In previous uh, incidents, it was suspended for a short time, but this time it's completely shut down. Yes, thank you. Thank you for inviting me today. Good afternoon. Uh, yes, it is. Um, it, it was sort of shocking, no, to 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 find that uh, it was a final decision. This this that this decision cannot be appealed, and that in, in some ways they have no cut any any road or any way to try to discuss or solve this issue with Press TV. Um, it also, it is, it is not surprising since the, you know, Facebook since 2016 was heavily criticized for what happened in the U.S. elections. It seems like it was trying to be very sensitive to, to the content that some sponsor state media was doing, you know, in, in, the, in the platform. And in that, in that sense, uh, you know, the, the outlet was trying to uh, uh, review and check what some of these outlets were doing. But what we're seeing here is not this. This is, I, I believe this is, they're targeting a specific outlets. Uh, we've seen that Iranian outlets have been affected, but also Russian and Chinese. And, uh, and they argue that uh, Press TV is breaking community rules. Uh, and when you review these community rules, you find it very hard to believe that Press TV, uh, a news uh, international outlet with a lot of experience, it, it is breaking any of these rules that are shown there. And for me, this is sort of deliberate, deliberate attempt to suppress the voices of, of you know, Iranian, Chinese, or Russian people, rather than really trying to put some order in the platform. Thank you very much. Let's bring in Mr. Khosh Cheshma now. What is your take, Mr. Khosh Cheshma, on this kind of decision, uh, like I said, permanently uh, closing down the Facebook page of Press TV? Hello, Gisu, and thanks for having me. Good evening. Well, uh, I'm not much surprised. I don't know why, but uh, it was quite a long time. I expected that Facebook would go the same way that Twitter, YouTube, and many others went. It's not just about Iran, but it's also about anyone who's having a different voice, like the CGTN of the Chinese, the Russia Today of Russia. They have run a smear campaign against anyone that has a different voice, especially the alternative media. You know, uh, uh, the so-called American values of democracy, human rights, expression of freedom, they are not important to the West. They have proved to be, uh, for quite a long time, instruments to pave the ground for the United States to maintain its hegemonic rule over the large parts of the world. Uh, that's why, if you just take a look at the United States ties with those countries like Saudi Arabia, that have the darkest record of human rights and democracy. They rule the country like a tribe, and they, especially after the uh, chopping up of Jamal al Khashoggi, a journalist, they uh, never punished the, the Saudis. 
Uh, not only uh, under Donald Trump, they uh, never uh, punished uh, the Saudi rulers, the MBS, the crown prince, the fact the ruler of Saudi Arabia that has been in charge and issued the command for the butchering of Jamal Khashoggi under uh, Biden administration. When uh, you take a look at the, the United States media outlets, you come to realize that they are being controlled by the deep state, actually, uh, one way or another, in order to shut down any different voice. That's the purpose. Uh, a democracy, human rights, freedom of expression are good as long as they serve the U.S. Uh, uh, goal of maintaining its hegemonic rule and enjoying more and more interests, legitimate or illegitimate interests throughout the world. Once they stand against the United States, they are not respected. Then the United States proves to be an irresponsible party that cares for no one and does the law of the jungle uh, might uh, has the right to the United States, actually. So they go for shutting down uh, Press TV Facebook page. Uh, you, on YouTube, the same thing happens. And they do not tolerate any different voice. It's not just uh, about the outside world. Uh, the United States has long built up a glass wall around the United States. These social media outlets like Twitter and Facebook, they serve uh, purpose actually for the people to communicate with each other uh, away from the uh, United States mainstream media rule over the world. But once the United States realized that this is undermining its uncoupled un in uh, uh, an unreal narration and narrative of realities under the on the ground. So they try uh, and they've started trying hard to shut down, uh, you know, any uh, opposing or different voice that comes through these media outlets in order to keep uh, the Americans, the people inside the United States, away from the realities on the ground. So it's very important to note that why the United States is spending several hundreds of millions of dollars, roughly over $670 million each year, uh, through its state media like the VOA or Radio Free Europe or Radio Liberty, we, we, in the Persian it's called Radio Farda, uh, in order to diffuse this narrative, this different narrative that comes from Iran, China, uh, North Korea, as well as Russia. That's what they do, actually. They do not want to, uh, their people, the American people, as well as people, the audience abroad throughout the world, to hear a different narrative of realities that's different from what the United States says. Thank you very much, Mr. Mustafa Khoshchejma, Mr. Daniel F. Riviera, PhD, and the director of Skyline Foundation. Thanks to both of you, gentlemen, and thanks to all of our viewers for following this edition of the News Review.